वेलकम टू इंग्लिश पाठशाला डेवलपिंग ई कंटेंट फॉर स्टूडेंट्स फ्रेंड्स वी डेवलप ई कंटेंट टू लर्न एंड इम्प्रूव इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज वी इंटेंड टू यूज ऑल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक यूट्यूब पॉडकास्ट ब्लॉग टू रीच यू एंड प्रोवाइड लर्निंग मटीरियल स्टूडेंट्स वी नो दैट महाराष्ट्र स्टेट बोर्ड हैज कम अप विद अ न्यू टेक्सट बुक अ कंपल्सरी इंग्लिश फॉर स्टैंडर्ड ट्वेल्व The new textbook is full of interesting stories, poems, writing skill, and novel as genre. And the poem we are going to study is Indian Weaver, written by Sarojini Naidu. Sarojini Naidu, also sometimes called as the Nightingale of India, was a political activist, feminist poet. She was very much active in India's freedom movement and was a follower of Mahatma Gandhi. She was the first Indian woman. to be a president of the indian national congress moreover she was appointed as an indian state governor of then united provinces now called as uttar pradesh she has also contributed in the field of literature to name a few of her writings are the golden threshold which was followed by the bird of time here we are going to study one of her beautiful poem indian weaver let's read the poem and then we will discuss the meaning and understand how nicely she has embroidered the poetic devices to make it a poem indian weavers weavers weaving at break of day why do you weave a garment so gay blue as the wing of a halcyon wild we weave the robes of a newborn child weavers weaving at fall of night Why do you weave a garment so bright like the plumes of a peacock purple and green we weave the marriage veils of a queen weavers weaving solemn and still what do you weave in the moonlight chill white as a feather and white as a cloud we weave a dead man's funeral shroud a wonderful poem written by sarojini naidu let's understand the poem what it means how effectively sarojini naidu has woven the poetic devices to make such a beautiful poem weavers weaving at break of day weavers are those who weave fabric and at break of day is a phrase which means morning so weavers are weaving a fabric in the morning now here morning symbolizes start of day energy freshness and rejuvenation now the second line is why do you weave a garment so gay Here the poet is asking question to the weaver that why is he weaving the garment so gay? Gay garment is charming and beautiful garment. To this question, weaver answers that blue as the wing of a halcyon wild, we weave the robes of a newborn child. And this halcyon is kingfisher bird, and the robes which is woven by weaver is for a newborn child. This robe is blue in color similar to the color we see on wings of kingfisher bird. Blue color symbolizes something beautiful, precious and also loyalty. Therefore, the first stanza of the poem speaks about the first stage of life that is birth, which is full of life, energy and happiness. In the next stanza, poet says, "Weavers weaving at fall of night, why do you weave a garment so bright at fall of night?" is a noun phrase which means evening sunset or dusk here poet questions the weaver why are they weaving bright garment in the evening answering the question we say like the plumes of a peacock purple and green we weave the marriage veils of a queen in the line like the plumes of a peacock purple and green plum they are nothing but feathers if you look at the fourth line of the poem we weave the marriage veils of a queen veil is a very thin material worn specially by women to protect or hide the face it means they are weaving a bright colored marriage veil for a queen the colors resembling to the color of peacock feather the second stanza deals with the second important stage of life that is the adulthood or young age by referring words to the words like marriage and queen this stage of life is full of vibrant colors at this stage we humans are very active and come across different feelings like love belongingness etc let's look at the third stanza poet asks weaver weaving solemn and still 
what do you weave in the moonlight chill now in the stanza if we look at the first line weavers weaving solemn and still so solemn means not happy or sad so poet is asking weavers why are they weaving at chilling night with silence and grief and the answer is white as a feather and white as a cloud we weave a dead man's funeral shroud and the funeral is nothing but the last ritual of burying or cremating a dead person shroud here is a piece of cloth that a dead person's body is wrapped in before burial the lines mean weavers are weaving a white fabric which is going to be used for wrapping a dead man at a funeral that is last ritual thus the third stanza deals with the third stage of life that is death it brings sorrow and grief symbolized by white color of cloud and feather the whole poem deals with life which begins with birth then adulthood and then death beginning with joy happiness and ending with sorrow now if we look at the poem we realize that the poem has three stanzas and each stanza stands for a particular time of day for example first stanza of the poem mentions the time of dawn daybreak or morning which stands for energy according to greek mythology it symbolizes clotho which itself is a symbol of spinner or which gives life and in indian mythology if we look at the indian mythology and its references it stands for lord brahma who gives life in the first stanza weaver is weaving robes of a newborn child and the color mentioned in the stanza is blue which again symbolizes energy second stanza is about life which has all shades in it which is full of ups and downs it has been indicated by purple and green color the time shown in the stanza is evening and according to greek mythology lachesis has been symbolized here indian mythology has lord vishnu who stands for life in this stanza weaver is weaving marriage veil which indicates an important event in human's life the third stanza symbolizes atropos and shiva as per greek and indian mythology respectively the time referred here is night and it stands for death and cloth that weavers are weaving is funeral shroud white in color the sequence mentioned in the poem is birth life and then death as it goes in every human's life now after reading the poem let's have a look at the poetic devices used in the poem enhancing the effect of the poem they help the poet to speak a lot in few words let's read the line blue as the wing of halcyon wild like the plumes of a peacock purple and green do you recognize the figure of speech used here yes it is simile this figure of speech used to compare two different objects having something in common and it does so by using words like an and as along with poem we find the use of simile in prose as well the poem is full of imagery poets skillfully use words to create images that comes in front of us the moment we read the poem for example read the line white as feather and white as cloud as we read the line the picture of white feather and cloud comes in front of us we start imagining the objects mentioned in those lines Let's take another example like the plumes of a peacock purple and green the line brings the image of peacock's bright colorful feather in front of us this is imagery where language is used in a way to represent objects or ideas that it appeals our senses a repetition of sounds beginning the word usually a consonant is alliteration as in the case of line weavers weaving at break of day the sound v is repeated in words weaver and weaving both words here are different in spelling and meaning except first alphabet thus it is the example of alliteration when we read poem we realize there is a rhythm which makes it interesting to read and easy to remember this rhythm is achieved by using rhyming words like in this poem day gay while child 
if we assign alphabets to each similar sounding set of rhyming words we get the rhyme scheme of the stanza rhyme scheme in this poem is a a b b rhyme scheme differs according to type of poem few types of poem have fixed rhyme scheme for example sonnet whereas poems which do not follow rhythm are known as free verse that's it thank you for watching this video stay tuned for another interesting topic till then have a good time